electronic components. Let's go. This is a capacitor. It stores electric charge. You can think of it like a little water tank. If you put him in parallel, he smooths out signals. If you put him in series, he only lets high frequency signals through. This is his gnarly cousin, the super cap. He's just a really super capacitor, a really big version of the same thing I just showed you. This is a resistor. It just dissipates power as heat in a circuit. These are also resistors. These are surface mount resistors, 0603 size. They're very tiny. And these are really tiny resistors. These are 0402 surface mount size. And yes, they get even smaller than this. This is an inductor. It happens to be a variable inductor that I custom made. What it does is it resists a sudden change to current in a circuit. In order to resist that sudden change in current, it has to generate a huge voltage spike. Remember that. These are diodes. They only allow current to flow in one direction in a circuit. In this case, current would only flow down, much the same as the Tesla valve right here. These are light emitting diodes. They're still diodes, but when you put current through them, light comes out of that PN junction. Here's the most important diodes. We've got light emitting diode, regular old diode, Zener diode, Schottky diode. You might use an LED to generate light. You might use a rectifier for power supply. You might use a Schottky diode for fast signals. You might use a Zener diode as a voltage regulator. This is a MOSFET. It's a type of transistor and it's used to turn on and off parts of your circuit. This is an NPN transistor and yes, it looks the same as the MOSFET. This device takes current and it amplifies it to turn on or off parts of your circuit. Think of it as a water valve where the amount of water that you put into it amplifies the amount of water going in or out of the valve. This is a piezo element, and it's essentially a crystal film with two wires. You put voltage across the two wires, and it gets fat or it gets skinny, depending on the waveform. There is a third wire that is used as a feedback signal so that you know how fat or how skinny this crystal is. Piezo elements are typically used as buzzers and circuits to make noise, but they could also potentially be used to drive sonoluminescence, which is cavitation, which could lead to low energy nuclear reactions, aka Lenner, which could solve the world's energy problems. These are transformers. They have an input and an output and a primary and a secondary winding. They basically take an input voltage and multiply it to an output voltage by some turns ratio, and they only work on alternating currents. This is a 974 nanometer laser diode array and you can see there's three laser diodes and a whole little science project of optics that sends that beam into the very tip of this tiny little fiber. This optical fiber can burn stuff from very far away or it could send telecom data. You pick your favorite application. Those are just some random quick picks from the electronics lab. Don't forget like, share, subscribe. You'll see a lot more of this content across electronics engineering, mechanical engineering, this Leonard project, and a bunch of other crazy stuff I have planned. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.